Okay. Your response to the speech. Well, I, I don't think we really heard a whole lot about what the state of the state is, uh, is I, I think, part of the problem. Mm. Uh, and uh, look, there's a big issue with homelessness. I think it's the number one issue facing every community right now. The billions of dollars that have been spent haven't made a difference. Uh, the problem's gotten worse, and we really need to get to the underlying issues. Um, and the governor alluded to it, you know, mental health uh, and drug addiction are, are, are some of the aspects that we need to tackle. Um, you know, I like hearing about this new program, but that's kind of the MO. It's like, here, here's another new program we're going to do. This time it's Care Court. Uh, but it doesn't change the underlying law, uh, Lanterman Petrus Act, uh, that makes it hard for us to get some of these folks into treatment where they're going to be better off and where they're not uh, posing a threat to people on the streets. So, you know, I haven't heard anything about those changes. And again, I wish we would have met over at the legislature uh, where we usually do because. Part of solving these challenges is actually working with the legislature on changes to law. Uh, a lot of people are making a big deal about what happened in Berkeley and this decision about uh, student housing. Um, the problem is CEQA. The problem is the California Environmental Quality Act. So if you want to complain about the court case, talk about the changes you're going to do to the California Environmental Quality Act. Work with the legislature. Uh, to bring about those changes so we don't see these kind of debacles where 3,000 students can't get into our premier university and are missing out on opportunity. What about that missed opportunity? We still have these large divisions uh, in our state between, between the wealthy and the poor. What do you think about the, uh, the tax rebate? There wasn't much detail. Again, I mean, there's a lot of programs that get announced by this governor, but not a lot of details. We have a proposal. We want to suspend the gas tax and save everybody in this state 51 cents a gallon, which would be a much needed break uh, for consumers. We can do it. We have what's nearly a $60 billion surplus. Uh, LAO estimates could be a $60 billion surplus. Let's use some of that money would to you backfill need voter that. Approval to do that? Uh, we would, yes. I mean, we would need to, you know, that would need to go to the voters. Uh, actually, no, it would not, because that, that was a referendum. Um, we can pass, you know, a repeal of the gas tax, and that and that would provide that 51 cents. Is that realistic, though? Let's talk about eight, nine billion a year, and I mean, we have needs at schools. We got a bunch of other stuff as well. Look, man, again, we got a 60 billion dollar surplus. You're telling me we can't give this relief to consumers, and one of the biggest things that they're facing right now is the high cost of living, including gas. Uh, utility bills that are getting higher and higher, rents, the cost of housing. I mean, we spent $860 million to build housing for, for one homeless person in L.A. Something's wrong. We're not doing the things that we need to do to ensure that people's costs are lowered, that we're really doing best by all Californians. Well, I'd like to turn it over to my, my senator, uh, my Senate colleague as well. Um, but what can we do better? I think, one, we can make the reforms to CEQA that would make housing uh, supply much more. We could, we could boost housing supply. Um, I think that we should do the gas tax holiday that would reduce people's uh, everyday cost of living. Um, I think that we should address the underlying causes of homelessness, which is, again, housing, um, which is, again, uh, mental health, uh, drug addiction. Um, we need to help get people off of the streets who are a danger to themselves and to others. And in order to do that, you have to change the law. We have proposals. Republicans are pushing these proposals. And we're waiting uh, for Democrats to, to join us and, and, and help pass through these much-needed measures in this state. Just wondering, though, given, you know, obviously you've been out ahead of the governor, but now he's saying he wants to do more and, and do this kind of rebate. Why... Why are you sort of wedded to your approach? I mean, for all we know, this could be more money. Look at he, 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 right? what he said is there's not a lot of details there. So we want to, we want to see the details. He prior just was going to reduce the, the, the SB1 increase that's going to happen July 1. And, and, and Speaker Rendon and the pro tem said no to that. So we are more than happy to work with the governor on this particular program. Uh, in terms of housing, Look at uh, this governor has spent seventeen billion dollars since he's been in office, and the homelessness has gone up twenty four percent. And the fact is, nearly one out of every two unsheltered people in America reside in California. 
That's because the policies haven't worked. We have a 15 bill uh, legislative package sweeping proposals to address homelessness. We have called for, uh, for a special session. He called that political theatrics. We're, we again are calling for special session, uh, session on home, homelessness because it's that important. If you look at all the polling, it's the number one issue with the, with the people. In terms of my overall impression, first of all, I want to thank you for being here and covering us. You know, I'm the Senate Republican leader. There's only nine of us, and people kind of mock us sometimes because we're only nine out of 40. But we represent nine million people. That's the same size as the state of New Jersey that has 14 electoral votes. So every time he shuts us out of the process, he's disenfranchising a population the size of the state of New Jersey. So I found it pretty humorous uh, this evening when he's talking about inclusiveness and, and democracy. He has one man rule right now. And I'm hoping our colleagues on the other side will for forgo that. And then, then on crime, it's not about feeling safe, it's about actually being safe. And I know he's, he's talking about making the investments in public safety. Investments without changes in policy are going to derive no benefit for the people. We have to reform Prop 47. We need to reform Prop 57. In fact, I believe Prop 47, the Kevin Kiley bill, was defeated today, correct? So we'll see, we'll see where we go on that. But to me, this, this was, you know, last year he held his state of the state at Dodger Stadium. I felt like he struck out, which I like that a person from San Francisco striking out in Dodger Stadium. But today, he shouldn't have held it here. He really should have held it in Orange County, because this is really more like fantasy land to me. Uh, because as, as James mentioned, he just to completely foregoed all the realities of what's happening in, in, in this state. Sa uh, Silicon Valley is one thing, and Beverly Hills and Bel Air is another thing. My district, which is a working class district in the high desert, are another. And he is not addressing the needs of everyday Californians.